After having her work shown around the world this month, Shin's going back to school. She's joining Fluid Interface Group, a research group that rethinks human-computer interactions at MIT Media Lab. Next month, Shin will be heading down to California, where she'll be an artist-in-residence in the high desert at Wagon Station Encampment. I know you're not a big fan of speaking of your personal future, <laughs> though you do have some really exciting things going on, like you're going to MIT in the fall yeah. for a Media Lab program. Mm -hmm. What is that about? What do you hope to accomplish with that, with attending MIT now? I think going to MIT is more about like uh, focusing on technology part, engineering, because mm -hmm. I see it as part of my crafting, is yeah. my main crafting. So I want to polish my skill, tend to be a better engineers there. At the same time, it's a very nice academic, collaborative environment. Absolutely. So it's a safe room. You can try different things without worrying too much about like um, profit or stuff like that. So I'm very excited for it. and but I don't really know. <laughs> and in terms of art, you're going in October to California, to Wagon Station, yeah. to do sort of like a retreat for like 10 days almost, right? Like a isolated type of retreat. Mm -hmm. What? Why, first of all, yeah. what made you want to go <laughs> do that? So I saw that program on Art 21. It's a program from Andrew, it's, we call it Andrew's Hotel, and I love Andrew. She's an amazing artist, and saw her interview. She talks in a way which I just feel so connected to her somehow. And I was born in Xinjiang, so it was basically a desert there. And so I have this kind of desert fantasy all the time, even though I'm born there. And. I have lots of work with it to send mm. previously, like I was dancing with them, I make jewelry with them, I use it as part of the Time Tank project. So I think it's just a perfect uh, combination of my personal previous living experience and also my art practice, a desert place which I can literally live in the desert sounds amazing rather than I'm in a city which in the desert. Yeah. So does it bring it back to childhood yeah. uh, memories? And... Yeah, I think so a little bit, because even though uh, my city, it was an audio city and it was in the middle of the desert, but we are living in the like the city neighborhood. We are never actually going to sleep in the desert. But for that residency, we basically live in a small living pod and right in the desert. Yes. That's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. Have you ever done anything like that before? No, I'm not a traveler. <laughs> and I'm a little bit scared and also very nervous and excited. But I think it's a good spot to be. Yeah. And for, for someone who works so much with technology, who knows so much about technology, I feel like it's just such an opposite, the opposite and such a drastic change, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, but it's interesting because uh, when you think about desert, uh, so you know for NASA, they have those stations in the desert because mm -hmm. it's very similar to the environment like Mars. It's yeah. like in the outer space, you have somewhere which has the same similar environment, living environment, just like the desert. So for me, it's like a very uh, interesting environment, which I can fantasize in, like, uh, what if we go to the Mars, and mm. this is how we're going to live in the future, and this is what we're going to see. And that's a little bit technology related. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else coming up that I should know about, or is that it as of plans? Uh, so far, yes, I have some like expansion conversation going on, but uh, nothing is fully confirmed. And also, I'm going to be a full-time research assistant and a grad student in Media Lab. So I think that wow. got to take a lot of time already.